In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how do we change the date time format in Microsoft Power Pages. Now, what do you mean by date time format? Now, just to give you a quick uh, glimpse of uh, what a date time format is. So if I navigate to Power Platform Admin Center, now this is where my whole tenants date time settings uh, gets reflected. Okay, so I'm just navigating to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. So that's a Power Platform Admin Center. And here uh, I will be seeing uh, a table which has uh, the date time format listed. Okay, so that will be my default date time format for the tenant. Okay, so if I navigate to the environments, here I'll see the date time format. Now, if you see closely watch this it it is in the format of mm slash dd slash y y y y and then the time component okay now i'm in power pages site this is a simple power page site it has a contact table listed as a part of list okay so when i run this it will show me a list of contacts along with the created date now if you closely watch that created on column, uh, again, it it is derived, it is inherited from the tenant, right? Now it is again MMDD uh, YYYY, okay? Now what if I want to change this format and if I want to have something else, okay? Now there are uh, you know, ways through which you can do that. Now what are the ways is like, uh, let me show you. Uh, if you navigate to your design studio, you click here and then go to Power Pages Management. Okay, now that's a backend uh, portal. So I've already opened the Power Pages Management over here. Uh, now here you need to create a site setting. Okay, if the site setting does not exist, then you need to create that. Now the site setting which I'm looking for is called as date time slash date time format. Okay, so let me search for that. Oh, so there is no date time slash date format site setting. So what? I need to do is I need to come here. So let me go to site settings and then click on new and create a new site setting called as date time slash date format. The website which is referring to this is Queensland and the value, the value here now I can set this as DDMMYYY. So let me put a hyphen in between, okay, and I'll put MMM. And then dash and then y y y okay now this is the date time format i'm putting and you can put whatever description you want okay so let me copy this description here so this is my site setting i'll click on save and once this is saved let's go to the design studio and then synchronize the changes to the portal So looks like the changes are done. So let me click on preview and preview the desktop version. <clears throat> now, if you see here, this is an MMDD YYY. So now the changes are all reflected. Now the syntax which we provided was here, DD slash MMM, so capital M. So DD capital M is equal to like the month, the first three characters of the month and then y, 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 the, the year. So this is how we change the date format, okay? We can change the date time format as well, but I'm just focused currently on just for the date part, okay? Now, what if you want to do something like, uh, if I don't want to show the date, okay? So maybe let me show uh, the day, okay? So like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday over here, then still we can do that, okay? Using the same setting, okay? Go to the setting. Instead of that, we just want uh, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say DDD, okay? Or just put 3D or 4D and I'll click on save. Let's see what happens. So it's saved now. Synchronize the changes. and preview the changes in a desktop size.
now as you see over here it has uh, expanded the day of the week okay so now it says wednesday 10 29 a.m thursday although you may not use the setting but i'm just showing you the possibility of using the date time format so there are whole bunch of syntax in microsoft site you can have a look into that you can play around with the date month uh, year time uh, hour minutes second text uh, now, A, D, B, C, those kind of things, you know, like you can play around with it and whatever date time format you want, you can render that in Power Pages site. So this is all possible with the help of this site setting. Now, remember, if this site setting does not exist, you need to create one for your specific site. Now, this is only applicable for this site. If you create an, another site within this Power Pages environment, then this date time format will not be reflected and it will revert back to the tenant date time format which was like MMDD Y by Y for me, okay? So that's it, folks. This is how you basically set the date time, date format within Microsoft Power Pages site. Thanks for watching.